Hello. 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 Let's smear that. that. And oh, and oh, one more thing. One more thing. So we don't have an echo. There we go. Okay, good. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew. Fr is it Friday? Yeah. Friday no, edition. No, it's Wednesday edition. Wednesday. <laughs> Wednesday. See, I was wrong. It's the Wednesday edition where we uh, play some games we've played before and sometimes have some fun with them, go for high scores, and this time we are going for some high scores. Sweet. This is part of the homebrew tournament, round number three. Oh, that's for right. For 2018. Okay, cool. So I've scheduled two times to play this this month. Um, one is now. Hey, Dianoid Games. Welcome hey, to Dianoid. the stream. Um, and one is like, one of the show falls on the last day of the month. Which is good, because last time, in round two and round one, I scheduled it for before the last days. Some people snuck in. That's how it and goes. stomped on the scores. <laughs> and this time, I'm not going to allow that. Because, you know, when you go for high scores, you have the roster, and you know, well, I think I can beat that one. And then you play... Even I did the... that on the last one. You did. You went, I'm going to get this. And you did. You played yeah. until you got it. And you kind of strategized for that score. Yeah. So it's like, it's like running a race. It's like yeah. I trained for the 200 millimeter. I'm like, I want to <laughs> run 200 millimeter. Yes. And so you you pace yourself for that record and do it a certain way so you don't burn out. Absolutely. So, but this is kind of the first round. We're going to go and figure out some strategies and figure out where we lie <laughs> really <laughs> because some like in the last round um when we we're playing draconian some of the scores were like no nah, we're not yeah, we're not going to get that score it's just not going to be possible so then there was someone was like i could probably do this <laughs> yeah it's like i can slot in there you know third fourth place around there and um yeah so that's that's what we're doing today and the game is Star Castle Arcade. Cool. I've never heard of this one. Yeah. And I've never is, seen this in the arcade. It's kind of cool, actually. I like playing uh, games I don't know. Yeah. So this was released um, a couple years ago, four years ago, in 2014. So Star Castle Arcade. Oh, I'll get out of this. There we go. Oh, tipping it the wrong way. There we go. You just have to hide your face. Turn it to the side and do that. That's oh, a quick, okay. easy way to I, I do it. I don't know why I ducked down. I just, <laughs> just have, That's a guarantee. I hide my entire body from the camera. That's definitely a guarantee you won't see your face. Um, so that, let me get my tablet because it has all my notes. Okay, and perfect. I was rushing around today. Because all my equipment. Yeah, was upstairs. no worries. I was like, I ran here. I actually had to do an export for James because um, he's doing a documentary and then I worked as the colorist on it and I had exported the footage for him and basically I had to like run back home and go and get it and I think me running away kind of left him to have to like build everything on his own so now that he's back he'll hopefully be in a better shape but so I scooped in at the last minute I I, I was here at 10 yeah. 30 and then I was like 10 55 I sat down I was like I got my coffee pretty fast that's uh helpful how how close you live nearby and uh, we've got the titles up above our uh oh mine's over there uh above our head so it helps people oh i got it <laughs> so they know how to spell your name yeah that's right because people are like see they got it right off the bat do you know it's games? a weird spelling it's it's i'm like think i'm one of the only people in the world this is one Have of you the searched like uh, there, online on there's Facebook maybe and... like half a dozen other people i think oh, wow. i'm like the only male in like north america <laughs> Um, and that's it's 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 good a, and bad. If yeah. people are looking for you, they'll find you. That's but the thing. But if people is, are looking for you, they'll find you. Oh hell yeah! Like <laughs> James, bad. if you Google, oh. good luck. It's but not, you can yeah. find me pretty easily for on anything. So that's uh, yeah. I have to be very careful about what I do publicly. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, right. it's really true. Yeah, don't get yourself in trouble. No. <laughs> um. So this this um, game Starcast Dinoid says uh, it's a stuttering video stream yeah I'm really sorry I don't know what's going on with that yeah internet seems to be phasing in and out a little bit yeah but it's going green red green red so I don't know I rebooted my router I rebooted my um, uh, cable modem I've never had this pro I think we've had it once before really early in the broadcast okay it's a bad day um, Hopefully usually we don't get bad days. Yeah. 
I uh, started the broadcast at about quarter to 11 and it was bad then it's bad now it's see the stream is I stream at three uh, megabits per second and it's jumping around anywhere from a thousand to 2500 and it's hitting it's hitting 3000 and catching up and hence the stutter yeah, so we're just going to have to power through it. Yeah. I think, <laughs> unfortunately. Sorry, Dianoid. And, uh, I mean, I did set it to an experimental buffer last episode, but we had no problems last episode with the buffering. Um, it could be a side effect of that. Maybe I should turn that off. We'll try. Do, do you want to try it and see what yeah. happens? Yeah. Just in case. I mean, that's not going to be fun for everyone, including the people who are not going to be watching very quickly. Uh, so let's just let me just change my settings here. I mean, yeah, we don't want this to be like old internet days. Right? <laughs> no, we do not. Oh, let's see if I can find it again. He said it's almost unwatchable now. Oh, well, that's not. That's not what we want at all. Settings for channel. Ah, there we go. Okay. So I'm going to disconnect and reconnect. If you can hear me through the stuttering. Um, Locally, I don't have to stop recording, so the YouTube would be fine. YouTube would YouTube be great, yeah. cool. So we're stopping it. Well, you can't hear me, but people in YouTube land can. So let's start it again. Yeah, because it's recording. It's just a recording, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's still... I, I didn't think that would work because it has really nothing to do with it. Yeah, it's worth a go at the yeah. very least. Rebooting the computer, I really don't think that'll help either. No. Oh, it's terrible. It's truly terrible. You think it's this time of day, potentially? No, no. If anything, this would be... A good time. A good time of day when nobody's using mm. it. Uh, could be some equipment out in the field. Could be. Could be anything. YouTube day. <laughs> uh, yeah, it could be YouTube day today. Um, which I apologize for. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I used to work at an ISP, uh, managing yeah. for troubleshooting internet connections. So, <laughs> so I know that so there's you, not, you not much the, I can do here. Yeah, you'd be the guy if there yeah. was anybody. Yeah, so I, I know what the capabilities on this end of the stream can be. Anyway, we're getting far away from the realm of, in, of gaming <laughs> into troubleshooting your internet connection. Come uh -huh. to Zero Brew Homebrew. Yeah, zero Page so Homebrew. Brew. To solve your internet connection today. <laughs> right. Just phone in now. We'll walk you through fixing Should things. Should you just reset that modem there? And <laughs> yes. Just wait 10 seconds. Plug it back in. Have yeah. you tried resetting? <laughs> so, I don't know. Is it better to turn off the Twitch stream? No. So that people uh, don't tune in and go oh this is a terrible show <laughs> they don't know, know what they're doing uh let's try let's try closing everything down again bring it up and if that doesn't do it uh that doesn't do it. programs shutting off programs aren't gonna oh i mean much. like we can write reset the like reset router the and router everything? and everything no no it's not gonna help let's push through yeah let's keep going the stream the stream's begun sorry um, you're going to have to power through it and watch it on YouTube after. The stats are going to be terrible for this. Yeah. <laughs> for but we'll have fun. Watching. <laughs> yeah, and that's what counts is that we'll have fun. <laughs> um, yeah, if I change the settings to to bump it down so that we're at a lower broadcast bit rate, it's going to be crap on YouTube. After. Yeah, oh, I see. So it's one of those things where it's so like I'd rather one or keep, the other. rather keep it good. Anyway, uh, we're going to have to ignore that. <laughs> and keep going and keep going um and you, everyone can watch it on youtube after um this is pretty rare that this happens and hopefully it clears up yes so today 
Uh, let's kind of start again. This is a Star Castle. Um, we're going to be playing, obviously, the 2600 homebrew version of That's it. That's right. And it, you, it came out first in the arcade. It was an arcade game. It's another vector-based game, so a game that's drawn with lines. So it's like instead a laser drawing. Yeah, instead of dots, it's drawn like a laser drawing, you know, at the planetarium or oh, things yeah. like that. It's a laser show and on the dome. So it's drawn from, draw from here to here, and that's a line. So to draw a circle, you have to go doot, 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 a bunch of lines that kind of make a circle. So that's how it was in the arcade. And it was released in 1980. Um, before your time. <laughs> uh, vector game, arcade Impaler game. Impaler 74, hello, sir. Hello, Impaler 74, hope you Or ma'am, I'm sorry, I don't want to... That's right, don't gender people. <laughs> don't want to assume Impaler is, <laughs> is male. Impaler! <laughs> the next, next person you impale, you have to be Impaler 75, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's right. It's just, I want to believe that's the amount of people you've impaled. <laughs> that's right. It's to keep upping the number. It's like, oh. Vlad the Impaler. Uh, 145,000. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to show some footage. Okay, cool. Um, from the video game, from the arcade game. Oh, sweet. So we can kind of get an idea of what it looked like throughout uh, its iterations. And how they've done with this. Yeah, and how they how they were able to replicate this because vector games are especially hard to portray with pixels. And Atari is not a vector based. Oh no. Okay. It is this dot. Is, this is how little dots. I know about the behind the scenes of the stuff, but Yeah, it's made up of lots be, of dots. What was the first vector thing that would have you could have done as as a like a, a console at home? Yeah, or would or would they jump to something completely different? Uh, we'll get to that, actually. Okay, okay. We will get to that. That's that's a very uh, relevant question. Hey. You're on top of it. So We I didn't just... plan any of that. No. <laughs> we actually did it. No, it just happened to work really well. So, actually, let's... This, this is from a very terrible film first. Actually, we're going to go to this. This is a clip that has Star Castle oh. in a movie. Oh. So... I think I see it in the background. Uh, that is a different film. Um, so let's switch over. There we go. So this is from the movie Maximum Overdrive, okay. which is a horror film. And yeah, video is going to stutter for everyone. Sorry, it's sorry, just a, people. We did our best to, yeah. to fix it. And maybe it'll get better. Maybe it'll smooth itself out and up. But it's we're just, still seeing red. So. Yeah, it's just... And, and high thrust. Yes. Hello, Thrust 26. Um, so this is from Maximum Overdrive. Uh, so you will see... I'm going to turn on... <laughs> So you'll see, oh, what? It went off the stupid screen. There we go. So you can see uh, Star Castle. Hell yeah. On the top there. And since it's a horror movie, you can pretty much guess what's going to happen. Die. He's going to die. Here we go. So here we go. So yeah, the guy with the coffee, he's he doesn't really care that that guy, the deadly Star Castle arcade. It's probably his arcade game. <laughs> yeah, it's like, eh, whatever. I wonder who the killer in this movie was. <laughs> <laughs> in the book Racing the... Uh, Dinoid Game says, in the book Racing the Beam, they say that Yard's Revenge... Yeah, we'll get to that. <laughs> Ooh. Yes, yes. We got yes. some more. More insight into it. Some um, deep cut background. Yeah. So now we're going to actually show... Uh, the arcade game. That was not... You saw those little stars and things? Yeah, that was some, something they just made. Yeah, to make it look more interesting because they're huge icons for the film. 
it doesn't look like that at yeah. all. Yeah, I also know from like they do um, that for films. Oh, yeah, too. and this is also like I do a lot of lighting and stuff, and it's really hard shooting a screen uh, because there's yes. never enough light. So yeah. you probably would want to like build something that would just emit enough light, so you knew that the camera would expose it with your other ones. Yeah, which there's is, a whole like department for TVs, monitors, any kind of light emitting displays because of that issue oh, yeah. because they have to be so bright to compete with like these lights that we have going on here yeah. even these aren't very bright but and now they just use green screen but back then they wouldn't have had that so they would have probably built a machine especially to just pump right. out light so they knew Super that they would bright. get it so because i i bet you a, a vector screen oh there's no, no way it's that a you tiny would be, little yeah. line that was barely bright and that's why arcades were dark hell yeah because these aren't very bright machines if you had them out in the daytime out you know, outside to be like, oh, I can't see anything. Terrible. So now we're going to take a look at the actual game. Wow. So as you can see, um, this, it's all drawn by lines. That's beautiful, actually. And th the big advantage of vector games is that you can scale ships as big as you want or enemies or anything. Wow. So you could kind of make them uh, 3D. Stuttering must be the upload, no matter how I set. This. It's not. It is the upload. It's from us. Thrust, please. From us. Sorry, from guys. Us, not you. Anybody out there? It's not. Just. Uh, it's not you. It's me. <laughs> that's right. It's that whole it's, line, and it's true this time. It's true. We're not lying. We're not making it up. <laughs> but I do want my cat back. <laughs> yeah. Please. And can I have the the CDs please that I left Fluffy in your back. truck? <laughs> yeah. Especially the Red Hot Chili Peppers. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, you could see. It's drawn by vector lines. They're all well, not this part, um, but that part. See, each it's drawing a circle. Yeah. With like lines. Um, it looks amazing, though. Yeah, and so when you die, it can be a huge explosion. It's done really easily. It almost looks like electricity, which is kind of cool. It pr it is pretty much that. It's like light, but it's it's a laser instead of drawing like this. Yeah. It's drawing like all over the place wherever it needs to draw and doesn't draw where it wow. doesn't need to draw. Um, so it gives you a lot more ability, especially back in 1980 when they didn't have more, a lot more graphics. Oh, and the stars too. It just goes blip, blip, did, wow. did, 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 did. And you can see they're kind of fade, 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 and then bright, fade, bright, because I... it has to keep drawing them over and over again before it fades out to nothing. Was um is Tron a vector game or is that a no. uh, the, ar the, the arcade? The arcade was not. It was. A, not, it, okay. was it was. You'd think it would be. <laughs> well, because <laughs> which would be awesome. It, it was. It was. Um. It was based on dots. Yeah. Yeah. Pixels. Um. The movie looks more like that because it's all very straight lines and then filled in. Yeah. Um, well, it looks like mini lightsabers, <laughs> yeah, or like long, long, long. yeah, it's very cool looking. It's pretty oh, yeah. amazing. It's a I've never seen a vector based awesome. thing before because they couldn't do that easily with pixels. They didn't have the resolution. But anyway, okay. So then people wanted it for home systems, but it was it was pretty much impossible to oh, make yeah. that game for home systems. But let me grab something here. Ooh. I like it when James takes something off the shelf. You know <laughs> it's going to be a cool moment, man. Yeah. There was one home system that was vector based the vectrex and it's the vectrex. God damn. <laughs> and the only way they could do it is have a screen built in they'd have to it makes sense because televisions are pixel pixel based right yeah. they're raster based they're, they draw like this but they purpose built this one for vectors specifically wow. um so this only does vector games it all all the games are drawn by lines and i've got a whole shelf of them up there those Damn. gray boxes that everybody can't see that's all the vectrex stuff so they took advantage of that and converted all the vector-based games that were in the arcade, or some of them anyway, that, that, that they could afford licenses to, and made them into games. So there is Star Castle <laughs> for 
the vac tracks. Just hide your face for a second. Oh, there we go. Grunk. There. Oh, more. You have to hide your eyes. It looks for eyes. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, I got the trick now. Yeah. Star Castle. Okay, we're good. Um, for the vac tracks, and this was put out in oh my notes at 1983 well it says 1980 on here um but on wikipedia it says 81 but anyway yeah all the thrills of the real arcade version so this was pretty much the only way you could play star castle at home so but I've never seen Star Castle in the arcade, so I guess it wasn't, you know, super popular. Well, it did electrocute or... people to death, and they <laughs> died when they touched it. Yeah. So they should have thought about that with their marketing, really. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> after that, people didn't go to the arcades that had it in there. They had to yeah. ship it back. Um, <laughs> uh, got sued. It was... <laughs> oh, it was, it was a mess. It was just terrible. So we're going to take a look at what it looks like on the Vectrex. Oh, cool. So, uh, let me switch over. Actually, let me just rewind so you can see the title screen. There, Vectrex, Star Castle, 1983. What is it? Oh, the, the original game's from 1980. That's why it's got that. Um, so this is on the Vectrex. Yes, and it's got a vertical display, and that's why it's so small, because yeah. it has to fit a vertical in a horizontal oh, yeah, screen. Oh, yeah, makes sense. Um, but I mean, how it's... expensive would have that been on the, originally? Like, I feel like this is not something that you would. <laughs> well, yeah. you have to buy a TV essentially with it. Yeah, it, it was a lot more expensive than other systems because all they came with were the console. You didn't have to buy a TV every time you bought one. Yeah. Um. So that failed miserably, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. The Vectrex, but it had so much promise. Um. So yeah, people probably just didn't understand like what that meant yeah all they, they like, saw why was, i just want to just <laughs> double the price i just want to buy a game i just want to plug it into my tv yeah, yeah my big yeah. tv you know i have to look at this tiny thing but yeah so it didn't do very well um but now it's kind of a cult makes sense classic I mean, kind of console and it's a very collectible console um because it's so unique and there's yeah. only a i'm only missing two games up there really i've like it totally all takes the games up like a third that, of a shelf like, right um wow so there's only like 20 25 games for it really S someday you're gonna have to do like a full show off of your collection <laughs> like a 40 minute like everything you know, yeah, yeah like we handheld camera <laughs> like you can take people i was through thinking your... of doing that but i'd have to have a better displayed yeah you know? yeah but um so that's what it looks like it was black and white but there's an overlay so you have colors just like the arcade ah i see um so you, it has red it's just like a see-through plastic colored overlay that's how they got um color in uh the back tracks okay i'm learning so much <laughs> <laughs> this one has a little bit of history to it I so like why you. not uh, why not learn it and one more um so somebody was trying to make this game um back in the day for the 2600 but they didn't complete it and then they completed it a little bit later um i can't i don't have the date on here but it was done by scott williams and it was just called star castle not star castle arcade because they have to differentiate that makes sense yeah um so we're gonna take a look at that very briefly uh, and it is pretty much impossible to play <laughs> and he only made i believe one copy of it and and sold it at an auction wow. for charity i think uh so star castle yeah impossible to play is <laughs> it, yeah it's it's so hard like you die almost instantly so he didn't do a lot of let's say play testing on it yeah <laughs> but it wasn't meant for um 2012 there we go can I make this full screen? Yes. Okay. Thrust26 says he wanted uh, 32,000. What? That didn't work. Where'd it go? 32,000. Oh, did he not sell it? I thought he did sell it. Oh, so he might have, like, not there sold we it go. for... So, let me just uh, play it for a second here. Ah! Ah, those things... The, the little dots come after you instantly and, and kill you. It's just, you can kind of shoot them, but they're relentless and 
Like you can't even... And they're homing practically, it seems. They, they are. It's it's super, super hard. Wow. So people don't didn't like it very much. It was too hard. There we go. Okay. Now on to the actual game that we're going to play. And this one was made by Chris Walton and Thomas Yench. Impaler74 uh, says, didn't he do a Kickstarter for it? Oh, did he? I think I remember that. Yes. And um, Thrust is letting us know later on, yeah. Later on. Oh, okay. So he did try and get some more money for it. But it, people have already seen it, and it's impossible to play. So, like, who wants to give money for that? I think. So I didn't think, I don't think it did very well, the Kickstarter for it. So you have like two versions, it seems. Am, am I incorrect? Of because you have like um or may or that that's just the overall no. box and oh this yeah you could have this and, and this. this well this is the Vectrex one. Oh, I see, right? I see, I see. This is the Vectrex. Sorry, um, that one was is fairly expensive in terms of Vectrex games. It's not the most expensive, but it's uh it's up there. So let's pop <laughs> it in. Thrust just said, "Be warned, Starcast Star Castle Arcade is still very hard." Oh, and oh, yes. that was what James was telling me. He was like, "Oh yes." He's like, "Good luck." It is. <laughs> it is not easy. And that, good luck. Yeah. So this is going to be a challenge. That's why also why we have two days to play it. Yeah. Oh man. Um, oh, and I get first go at it. Oh yeah. Of course. <laughs> As usual. Oh my god, I'm gonna get so, crushed. Let me just make mm. sure it's working here. Are we foobard? What is what's, what's going on with this star castle? Oh no. Or maybe I'm uh Oh that seemed to do something. Maybe I'm crazy. Oh. Please hold. I'm channeling my, my, my Zen for for Star Castle Arcade. I'm gonna need it. I've never played this before, as most of the games we play here. Today is the oh. day of... Oh! Oh! Oh, there we go. Good. Oh, okay. Phew. So, just to make it look a little bit better. It's all washed out. As this TV wants to do. Twenty fourteen, he's just checking out the stuff. Yeah, I'm just setting up the video. Because preferences seems good. Yeah, that's There we go. Okay. Okay, so. Both switches to B. Yes, both switches to B. We are good. Yeah, because there are certain setups for the game that. Oh my in god, order, okay. In order to play, um, you have to set it to a certain thing so everybody's on the same settings. And B is the setting. Wow, okay. So he just blasts. <laughs> So I'll give you the rundown of what you have to do. Kill the guy in the center of the circle. I see. It's hard that you can't... Oh. <laughs> Whew. Okay. It's hard that you kind of can't, like, move left to right. Like, it's, oh. you can only move forward. It's thrust and turn. Like a real ship would be, right? I guess so. Yeah, we're in space. Yeah, it's not like a walking around... Okay, the basics are, oh, okay. there's little dots that come out and kill you. You have to do, get through his shield. And once you get in through the middle shield, just around him, he can start firing at you. Oh, I see, bam. So, let me give you some background. Give everybody the background. I mean, I think standing in one position until you die is, is nobody <laughs> recommends that technique. No, because those uh, little uh, little dots are wow, coming Wow, the you. aiming, it's just the steering is really hard. <laughs> yes. 
I, 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 I guess it's like welcome. <laughs> welcome to Welcome to pain. <laughs> see, yeah, it's just I've never I've never encountered a kind of driving, and then it wraps around the screen, which is crazy. Yeah, like, so it's like you can wrap around oh my left, God, like, right. Yeah, I'm like now down. I'm like here, I'm halfway like halfway off. through the screen. Oh my God. Okay. And he rebuilds his shields. Okay. So even if you shoot them, they come back. So you have to keep keep on him. How many of him do are there? Oh, see, and then he kills well, him. Infinite. You kill him. He comes back comes the next back. time. Whew. Okay. Um, so we have to play game one, uh, variation BB. Okay. Um, and obviously this round ends at the end of the month. I think our uh, no, connection is still jumpy. Never mind. So the high scores, the highest score so far is the guy, of course, who's put on the he's tournament. He's rocking he's as usual. running the tournament uh, with 22,000. Holy shit. Okay. They only come back if you kill all segments in the outer ring. Oh. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Thanks for the tip. Oh, I didn't know that. So don't kill all the orange there. Oh yeah. Okay. So just keep firing at the yellow. Oh, I see. There's a bit of a bit more tactic to this than just oh, randomly okay. see, shooting. I didn't know that. This is where the stream is so useful. This is a guy who has second place. Oh, thanks. In the tournament so far, uh, Thomas Yench. Oh, um, see, damn. Who? I with this? Yeah, yeah, you made this game. <laughs> so we have the we have the programmer of really? the game in in the uh, in the chat what right now. What made you want to program this game, man? Tell us a little bit about your yeah about your inspiration. I mean, was this a game you played a lot as a kid? And I mean, it's, in the arcade, it's I mean, pretty cool. Or was it just the technological challenge of making a vector game? Yeah, on the I mean, Atari. Clearly, this is the because they tried to make it back in the day. Yeah. So it's like, oh, and there was a lot of those games that they were trying to make, and now people are completing them. Now that there's a better understanding and and more processing power on the on the cartridge. Um, so Star Castle is a 1980 vector game by Cinematronics. The game involves oh, see. A, a, hey, 1900 so far, doing better. Oh shit! Yeah, because he just like as soon as oh. <laughs> 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 Because <laughs> there's a break. Now he can fire through his... Uh... Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. So, oh. there you go. You can continue on oh, where the middle of the first paragraph. Okay, the thing. And actually, you can see there on the scores, it's JTZ. Yeah. Um, I believe that's uh, his last name, Thomas Yent. Wow. So, 32,000. For the game, he got that, so he has to play it during this round to get a high score, though. But I think he did. Yeah. So it says that the the game was designed by Tim Skelly and programmed by Scott Bowden. This is the original one. Oops. And that uh, Skelly also <laughs> created a number of other uh, cinematronic titles, including Starhawk, um, Armor Attack, and Rip Off One. A port of uh, Star Castle for the Vetrex was released in 1983. Ugh. And uh, the game. Is black and white with colors of the rings and screen provided by a transparent plastic screen overlay, which is like what you were saying. And that yeah. uh, and that Star Castle showing the high resolution vector display and color overlay that provides the false color for the for the play field. Yes. And it says that the object of Star Castle is to destroy an enemy cannon which sits in the center of a uh, three uh concentric rotating energy shield rings while avoiding or destroying mines. Oh, interesting. And so those are mines that are floating around. Just you wait, this guy's gonna just oh blast God. you. God! I don't, I don't know how to deal with that yet. <laughs> oh, I see mines are there. At least you get a lot of lives. Yeah, I mean You get that, like five lives. That part's good. See, now it's like, oh, it's just ruthless, man. Uh, Enemies that spawn from the core pass through the energy rings and then home in on the player's ship. They can stick back to the shield if the player maneuvers in such a way that a ring is between the ship and the mines. And the player-controlled spaceship can rotate thrust forward and fire small um, projectiles. And the cannon shields are composed of 12 sector sections each, and each section takes two hits to destroy. Once a section is breached, Rings beneath it are exposed to fire. Okay, all oh, this makes sense. 
and once the innermost ring has been breached, the central weapon is vulnerable to attack from the player. However, the player is also more vulnerable as the shield rings eliminated, the gun can fire out a large projectile that hisses with white noise, which is how I died every time. <laughs> it's the Just projectile. The, the white noise projectile. And moreover, the central core tracks player movement at all times. If the player manages to hit the cannon, it explodes violently, collapsing the remnant. So I think we just have to hit it once. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which is great news. I guess that's like... Just... Oh, yeah, see? Uh... Dude! Well, I got him once. <laughs> that's one... Made it to level two. Hey! Now it's purple. Oh god. I believe you get an extra ship every time you complete a level. It's oh, that okay. hard of a game that you get an extra life every level. Wow. What's it has to be like game design wise because there's no there's nowhere to go, it's just this. You just yeah. have the one screen. <laughs> yeah, for that's it. Damn. Ah. 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 You have to keep moving after you've breached because he will. Well, I think it's also rotation, right? Like, you almost want to fire and then move at the perfect time. All the initial scores are all magic numbers, so he didn't get that score. Oh, okay, cool. And if you look at those numbers and, and the text on the screen, it was programmed to look like vector. Oh, dude. So yeah. It's kind of flickery and it's got at the points, it's, it's darker at the points where it's uh, connected because the laser would have to draw twice on wow. those so that it would, that dot connecting them would be darker. That's a cool detail. Super attention to detail. Um, do you know I just asked a good question to, uh, to yeah. Thrust26, do you have a list of homebrew games that you co-authored or authored? If you go to Arena Foot's list, you can do a search for Thomas Yench, and it'll come up with every game. Hopefully he's got on the list, because some of them are incomplete of who, who helped out with the game. I know the, the programmers are always uh, listed. Okay, there you go. Okay, cool. So to get the lowest score <laughs> in the tournament is 7,500. Okay. So these people are actually you know, defeating the guy yeah. numerous times. Uh, you have to make oh, the gun target sorry. to one direction, then wrap around to kill from the opposite side. Oh, see. So see, you don't want to stay in one place because the guy will wait for the opening and then shoot through it. There you go. Oh, you almost oh. got it. You got the right idea. Oh, there you go. Dude. Right. Oh, see, that's a that's a tactic. Yep. If there ever was one. Oh, this is where stream saves us, man. Because <laughs> if if, yes. if I was on my own, I'm just trying to wrap my head around. Ground Trooper says, I need to put in more time on this. I suck royally at Star Castle Arcade. It's beautiful and the sound is amazing, but so hard. Yes. Yes, it is. It is very hard. Oh, you can't quite reach. <laughs> yeah. Your shots don't quite go across the screen halfway, so you have to be a little bit close. Yeah, kind of the secret is to shoot one opening, or a couple openings, and then make sure you're not on the side that he's turned to and then shoot through the opening to get him. Obviously, that's a lot harder than it sounds. Impaler 74, my best so far is 7,000, Castle 2. That's crazy. And all the rings rotate at different speeds. He just built himself back up. He shot the last, uh, last yeah, bit. Yeah, it's hard because it's like you want to... you got to dodge these things, too. I know. And they're getting faster. Like, on level 2, it's so much faster. Um, so, each star castle is fixed at the center of the screen. The castle is protected by three rotating energy rings, and each ring consists of 12 segments, which can be individually cleared when hit twice by your ship's missiles. Now you've got a nice opening. 
Of course, he's firing like a madman. And he can only fire when he has an opening, too, which is nice. He can't just fire. Oh, 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 oh. That's not a great idea. Ah, oh, see, it's just like. The siren sound is something very unique oh, because no. it's dithering frequencies. Yes. Oh. oh my god, don't shoot those rings. Oh, yes! yes! Take wow. that, you <laughs> bastard. You're almost on the board. I know. I'm well, you're so... on the board, but I mean, you almost got it to the, the lowest <laughs> score. <laughs> that's all I've ever wanted. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, that's a, I think I'm understanding this. Oh, obviously, you're in Castle 3. Oh my god. Oh, Whoa! See, yeah. They're all coming for you. Last ship. Almost to 7,000. Come on, baby. Gotta run. Have fun dying. Bye, ground trooper. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, um, Thomas, I was wondering how... Because I read that it keeps the oh, scores... See, yeah, there we go. Hey, it's... 7290. That's something. So let me just type that in, because... Should I put my name in? Let's see. Oh, yeah. There we go, 7290. I'll make it easier for me to... Oh, there you go. You're on the board. That helps, too. I just did pick a random name. <laughs> Yo, what is that? It's APG. I didn't... I, 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 the problem was is that I clicked B, oh. and then it just... I had it, and I was like, I don't know. So were you clearing, like, a big swath of... Dude, what I was doing was I was just shooting, and then I'd fly through the next room. I would unload, and then I would fly through the through the screen like and I think that's actually the trick to this game because like uh and then here I would kind of like fly like a different direction and as soon as it opened I would then just oh yeah, yeah you got yeah. him which is good but I would basically just like fire and around <laughs> fly around and fire yeah and okay. I just kind of because I find it harder to like I would kind of there you go like build a little bit of a thing and then I just like fly through like a different direction kind of aim it almost like yeah and then you can be like unloading as you fly Cause you almost get a bit of a, a lead on the guy, right? Because uh, uh, now what you gotta oh, what? now get, what you gotta do is get, fly. Ah! <laughs> you gotta fly like the opposite direction and then unload. Opposite direction and then unload. Yeah. Like you can see there, you can kind of predict what. Yeah. I don't think that's a good tactic. Is staying in one place no. and firing at him because as soon as he sees you, he'll just he can unload. fire at the same time you can, and you'll die. I mean, he may die, but you'll die too. Yeah, and his his hit is really fast. You can't shoot those things. Yeah, which is really nice. But they're a pain in the ass. Ah. Oh my god, on level 3, they're just... Yeah. Relentless. And see, like, as you, if you fire in the, if you go to fly in the opposite direction and then shoot at the same time, you'll kind of, like, come out guns blazing. Right. So like, there you go, and then you can just like... Because I really think the trick to this is using the opposite screen. That was like their tip, and I think that's... Because yeah, you see like there, if you were unloading as you as you flew, you could like... Especially if you were trying to like attack his... Uh, ah. His thing, it's a pain in the butt. 5940. Siren sounds really impressive, I think it I... makes your adrenaline rise. Yeah, it does. Oh! Yeah, there you go. I'm pretty. I'm pretty sure I just had a lucky round, though, man. <laughs> I'm. I'm not gonna lie. I really don't want to. Yeah? I don't want to. I don't want to like. You can beat that every time now. No, <laughs> I don't think so. And I read that it saves the scores on the cartridge. That's cool. Without the Atari Vox. Now, how was that done, uh, Thomas? Because. Uh, oh my God. Is that right? Yeah. Oh, just barely on the board. Well, that's going to go away. <laughs> it, so, a 32 ROM, ROM with extra RAM, but no extra CPU. Oh, wow. That is impressive. So, this doesn't have a DPC Plus chip in it. Fine. Fine. What's in your mouth? <gasps> oh, my God. What's up? Okay, oh, I gotta do something. I'll be right back. Hold on.
Oh, it's so hard, guys. Hold on, he's just saving his cat. Oh no, okay. Yes, okay. Okay, it's not like the best thing in the world, but it's something. Okay, and don't worry, James will be right back. He's just fighting with his cat, man. Thanks, man. I don't know if I'm doing okay. Oh, God. 6,900, though. That's not terrible. No. Very good. Oh, my God. Okay. How's your cat doing, man? Uh, better. Um, <laughs> sorry, I wanted to save my cat. Yeah, no, that's really important. The cat, somehow, had a little tiny stick. Oh. Like a bamboo, thin bamboo stick. The width of its upper mouth lodged between its teeth on the roof of its mouth it's like oh. right there so I had, to, I had to pull it out of its mouth luckily it didn't look like it was like hurt it was just stuck there and it couldn't get it couldn't get it out oh god but i had to hold the cat down oh my god that was a nightmare <sighs> But the cat's good. Atari's all good now. He will live another day. And I saw online somebody using a. Oh, of course, I shoot the last one. A tactic of. That's what I was doing. doing where you almost fly like backwards. Back shoot, 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 backwards. Shoot, shoot, shoot. What shoot. you? Because what you can do if you get in the middle is you can fly back and forth. It does knock you off a bit. And you can be firing each time. Like, yeah. Like, I, I, that was what I was doing, man. I was just like... But, it's so hard. Oh, I shot one of mines. And then, I, I was doing good, man. I was dodging a lot of his stuff. It's not so easy, but... Yeah, see? You have, like, almost you have a got way him. in. I almost got him there. Yeah, it's almost like a kamikaze thing. It's like if you can like get him down to the last thing, fly in like aggressively, and then like get yeah. him. Yeah. Exactly. But you have to open it up enough that that inner yeah, opening. Yeah, there you go. See now, fly out, and then you can. Oh, it's mine the mine, right? Been. That's the challenge. Oh. And now be super careful. Oh. As soon as he's at this stage, just fly a lot. <laughs> yes. Just I'm gonna fly go like the opposite direction. That was terrible. It's really hard. Uh, yes, the extra ram is used for drawing the rings. Beautifully done. 
Well, there's a stripped down harmony inside Aria, which offers some flash round. There we save the scores. Oh, okay. Cool. It's too dangerous being that close. Yeah, you gotta it's the keep... mines. Get out of here. Open it up. <sighs> That's the hardest part, I think. Because you have to. Oh my god. Got cut a little bit. But that's Just what from, happens from the adventure. when you struggle with a cat. But you got him out? Yeah, I got it out. Got the stick out. I'm sure he mouth. seemed happy after that. <laughs> the cats don't understand what's going on. You just have to save them and. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll hate and you for a They'll few. hate you for a bit, they'll forget, and then. But they're happier in the end, and you're happier in the end. Um, yeah, you gotta, you gotta be faster than he turns, and go to the other side and shoot him with that opening. That's right. That's the only way to, because you'll die every time. And then if you kind of pre-shoot, you know what I mean? Like, oh it's like, God. as you're, the direct, oh. as you're driving the opposite direction, you start firing. See, so that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so it's, it's, oh, and you gotta keep moving. So it's like, as you fly, like, there, you should have been like, right. shoot, 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 shoot. Because that way, the, by, and then you can kind of redirect yourself, so by the time one of your pellets hit, you'll be in an opposite direction. This game is frustratingly hard. Is it this hard in the arcade? That's how they made their money, man. That's how they <laughs> made their money. Trolling children. That's right. Ooh, fun game. Hey, kids, come, come play the try fun it game. out. Now you fly, like, away. Like immediately. <laughs> immediately. Yeah, and then he almost kamikaze, like shoot, 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 shoot. Right. Oh, well, that would have been good. Yeah. Like, but that's okay. You oh, gotta play no, it safe, built up man. again. God damn it. You like have a like a little window, and then like, oh, thrust twenty six. That is harder. It's in the arcade. Har this is harder. Well, I guess I I I, I suspect that it would be a different God, game with God, friggin' God. um oh. with uh. What you call it? The controls? Yeah, I mean, like, a, a joystick this would be a tough game, I bet. Um, I bet they didn't use joyst a joystick. I bet they used buttons. Buttons? Because um, Asteroids, which is kind of the same, like turning and thrusting, is um, uses buttons. Um, I'm not sure the control scheme in the arcade. Should have watched that movie more carefully. Yeah. <laughs> I can see why um, uh, he would use Draconian and then this, because they both have a similar kind of vibe to them, you know? Like, this Draconian is obviously, like, a completely different game. Yeah, but there's still a, a space game. Space game, but same idea of, like, you're trying to, like, of dodge stuff. You're trying to, like, kill something that's in the middle. You have to slowly work your way through it. Yeah, yeah, that's true. It's got a similar similar kind of thing. Thrust is that the arcade is harder and then they reduce oh. the difficulty quite a lot, especially the difficulty ramp up is brutal. I guess that's also your your complaint about like when you tried to play the one that was uh, uh, the one you were showing us, you're like, this is impossible. <laughs> it is, because the dots are on Homing. you and they start immediately. That's they don't probably... circle around. They, well, they come at you, at you immediately. Yeah, Thrust, what were the... Th Aspects that made it harder, would you say, from like your design perspective? Sacrifice to ship. <laughs> but you got it, man. Yeah. At what cost? <laughs> That's right. I have to. I've been resisting so hard. I have so many bad jokes that I keep thinking. <laughs> No, no, not PC. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, well, <laughs> yeah. If they're, if they're just like groaning bad, then that's fine. They're, no, no, they're. they're I don't mind <laughs> about. I would. And oh yeah. Terrible. We may not want to say. No, it I want to. I want to. I remember. I, yeah, yeah. I don't want to. I don't want. I want this to be a good, fun family <laughs> show. I don't want to. Ah! <laughs> That's the worst. <laughs> just immediately wake oh, up. Oh, this game's so hard. Oh, this is this is a hard game, dude. Ah, uh, the stream is still jumping around. Pretty bad. 
doesn't look as bad. You as see, like, check this out, dude. Before. Like, I can shoot from the opposite direction, right? Oh my god. So see what I mean? Like, that's what I mean. Where like I can start shooting here. So that's yeah. where like I that was my tactic to make like almost like because that way you can shoot in the opposite direction and right. potentially. He is a fairly slow turner. That's it, right? And so, like... Oh, you're doing drive-bys on it. That's, that's what I do, man. <laughs> oh. And see, like, there I was... I fucked it up, but... Yeah. That's my feeling about... Yeah, dots equals mines. The dots are coming at you very fast. Not the first castle, but the second and third. Yeah. First one, the mines are not really too much of an issue. The second and third, they keep you moving. Nathan Strum did the graphics. Of course he did. He does the graphics for every game. Oh, it got my leg, too. Um, he did it for love. Oh my god, there's a, a brightness calibration for this. Wow. If you hold the joystick left and press fire during the Atari Age logo screen, a brightness calibration shows up. This screen, you can adjust the contrast and brightness so you can see all distinct eight bars. You leave the screen by pressing reset. Oh, we gotta do that. Do that in the next one. The other reality, man, that's about this game is like, that's where it just constantly shooting makes a lot of sense. Uh, because there's no... Well, there's a, there is a reason not to shoot because you could kill the outer ring. Oh my god. Wow. But see, I got him from the other side, right? Yeah. And the other thing is, is like, I'm at like 30... 3,300, yeah. which is like not great, but in all honesty, like since we're going for high scores and stuff like that, yeah. like um, me constantly shooting just helps a lot. You get extra points. Yeah, I and guess. like, and, and the main times that we die, man, is like when um, when we get blasted by that that guy at, at these levels. So there's almost something to be said, at least if you wanted to be on like the leader score of just yeah. So the outer outer ring, is ten points. Middle rings 20, inner rings 30, so they're worth next to nothing, the rings. Uh, you get no points for hitting mines, so you could sit there and just shoot mines, but you get no points for nothing. The Star oh, Castle, you get so 1,440, so that's where all the points come from. Um, plus an extra ship. Yeah. Ah. Oh. So it's it's just moving off the screen around the edges and and just taking more and more pieces out. Cuz the homing missiles don't follow you around the screen. They change directions as soon as you come on the screen in another spot. So they're they're dumb as dirt. Oh, see, too bad. But no, it's not terrible. I'm going to try the calibration. Five thousand. Thing. Hold joystick left and press fire when the Atari Age logo. Oh, you got your. Yeah, I just hit A because I'm. I'm okay. You're still there. Still on it. Aha. Oh, uh, cool. At this screen, you can adjust the contrast and brightness. Oh, you mean on our television? TV. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's Never mind. fine. It's, it looks fine. The right hand one looks like blackish and you can see all the bars. Yeah. Okay. So that's the same. So let's see how I can embarrass myself now. Oh. Destroyed. Middle ring. And I destroyed the outer ring. Racking up the 10 points at a time here. You don't actually want to 
shoot the inner ring while standing still because because he'll eventually come around to you. Exactly. Look at just... that! He even knew when to shoot. But see, you haven't like killed him, and you have two thousand points, right? <laughs> So it's not a ter weird. it's not a terrible thing because you are getting some pretty decent points for killing mines, but that's where you got to uh, shoot the other direction, right? Because that's where you can potentially um, dodge him as well as like hit him from behind. It's really hard though. Die. <laughs> oh my god! Because I just constantly move, man. Just seven bars, not eight. Oh, okay. Well, that's cool. They have that built in because uh, I've been looking for a twenty six hundred kind of test cartridge that does all these things like the like the color calibration bars um, the black and white bars the joystick up down left right and it shows on the screen like yes you're pressing that button but I haven't found one um, Thomas do you know if anybody's made such a because I know they have them for like more modern well like Nintendo they made them. Oh my god! Oh, go, go, oh. go! That's cool. Thrust says that the difficulty increases with score, not with castle. Oh, so you can't just sit there and uh, and blast away at the. Uh... You gotta be shooting. <laughs> you just shoot. Well, no, it's it's it's. I mean, and not to necessarily, but it's like if you can hit him, and you can hit uh, him through the screen potentially. And he's back. There's a 2600 test card. Oh, is there? I'll have to take a look at that. There are calibration ROMs from back then. Um, do you know if the test card in the Atari Age Store tests like paddles, joysticks, second button on the Genesis, um, like all of the controls that were out there, like the basic keyboard, the like all those things. about it. <laughs> yeah, because you just stand still. Like The thing is, when you get to that last ring, because if you think about it, it doesn't matter if he rebuilds it and you have another right. go at it. It's like, if you die, you're dead. Fuck. Right. Because you're still getting points. Like, why not, right? I guess, yeah. And you have a lot of health. Slow points. Yeah. A lot of ships. But... And you'll get them eventually, right? If you keep going. <laughs> But, yeah. if you, but if you stand and he blasts cool you, it. and then you wake up, and he blasts you, and you wake up, it's like... It's really hard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's a hard game, dude. I knew I would be just terrible at this game. It's so hard. Uh, not sure about modern hardware. Joysticks, maybe paddles. Yeah. But it's something to look at. I'll have to take a look at that. Because paddles, paddles I really want a good tester for. Um, let me take a look at the link that you've got there. Test cards allows you consoles and controllers. Uh, blue, red, green, orange. Joysticks. Keyboard left, right, black and white. Oh, it looks like it's got some paddly things at the bottom. DFL, DFR. Select, reset, black and white. Oh, that's pretty good. Huh. Uh, the switches to a screen control switches, joysticks, keyboard controllers, and paddles. Um, play some music, verify the sound is working. Test pattern. Do your nice color calibration like the black and white calibration. But it does pretty much everything else. That would be a good one to get. Not very entertaining on screen though.
And I think all he does all he need is the outer his inner ring to shoot. Can he shoot through? No. Can he shoot through all of the rings? Or does he need a clear shot? He just needs to be facing the punch. Yeah, he has to be facing. He won't shoot if he's not. Actually, he will shoot if he can anticipate you being in a spot. Notice that. <clears throat> but somebody was mentioning earlier about Yar's Revenge, which was the answer to this when people th thought they couldn't make this on the 2600. Yeah? Is they um, kind of changed it into a different game. They put the ship, uh, your enemy, on the right-hand side of the screen. Um, didn't make it fly through, it was just a single screen. And, um, and made his defenses just a straight line of blocks that you had to shoot through. But there's still, there's one homing mine in the game, and he still does shoot out his, his bullet, but he doesn't need a clear shot. He can just shoot it whenever. And it's, it's super cool. And you actually have two weapons in Yara's Revenge. One is your normal shot, where you can't kill him with it, but you have to get a super shot by touching him, going out, and then shooting him with it. Ah, oh, and no thrust-like movement in Yar's Revenge. Yeah, I think it's just all directions. That's an interesting sound. Oh, it's a hard game, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is... it's brutal. A lot of it is just getting used to this like control of this thrust because it's really That's different. That's the hardest part. You can't just move around. Yeah, you, you're, you can't just turn around. You have to... Ah, it's so difficult and frustrating. This game drives me crazy. I'm actually dreading playing this game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Got a weakness. Look, see, he anticipates. He knows where you're going to be based he, on your. Oh, careful. Oh, yeah. That's right. Based on your movement, which is great programming. That's really, really great. I'm guessing the original um, game did that too. And it slows down somehow. There's like uh, air in space or oh, yeah. some sort of thing that's slowing you down. Because that's not how it works in space. <laughs> Theoretically, you should be moving forever and never slowing down, but that doesn't work with this game because you would dominate. Oh, yeah. Because you would just keep um, going in one direction, and then you would turn and just fire, and he'd never be able to get you. And neither would the mines, because they'd never... Actually, he would, because he anticipates your movement, so even then it wouldn't work. No, no, the gun is stupid. It just shoots when there's a gap. Really? It's done that twice where it's anticipated me yeah, being it's in brutal. a spot. So, I don't know. It just happens to work out that he shoots when there's a gap. Damn. <laughs> ah. Die, mines. See, in, in the competition, you're not allowed to um, farm for points. No. You can't just sit there and shoot the outer ring forever. No. Because <laughs> technically, if you're good at shooting mines... Oh, I'm going to go again. That's terrible. Like, if you're good at shooting mines, you could do this. And shoot, like, the outer and inner ring. I'm too close, but... Like, do that. As long as you're not... Even that, it's hard. So picturing this game in 3D, the circles would be spheres. Yeah. That would be... Uh, that would be so complicated. <laughs> that would be, but they can make it now. Make 3D games with, um, like, uh, 3D glasses. Hey! So That's about the only time I ever get it. <laughs> it's when you die. Thrust is like farming wouldn't work. Just try. <laughs> I think you're right, man. Because he said it goes by points. 
Yeah, so the thing is, is it, it just gets, gets it just gets harder. There's no, there's no way out. Of it's not really levels. You just happen to shoot, you know, one castle and then the second one, and it doesn't matter. Run! Run! <laughs> Nowhere is safe! He does just shoot randomly. Yeah. Oh, I killed his whole inner man. Run! Oh. Run! Run! See? Half of the challenge is the, is the driving, man. <laughs> it is. Which, I don't think that's... It should be like that in a game, is... The controls are the problem. <laughs> I mean, I think if you could go sideways, it would just be a completely different game. Oh, if you could thrust side. Ugh. Yeah, if you could kind of like guide your ship sideways and, and backwards. Yeah, like it would just you could moving. maneuver and stuff. It would be a very different game. How? Which is not a bad how? thing. That's part of the that's part of the <laughs> the 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 charm of this game. It is, yeah. The trick is to kill the castle with minimum segments removed, because then you would get more extra ships. Oh, I was lucky. Um, you get more extra ships? Why would you? You only get one extra ship per castle destroyed. So the number of um, segments removed would not matter in how many ships you get. It would matter in... In difficulty ramping up. Too bad you can't shoot those shots he's shooting at you. But you can't in Yards of Revenge either. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, you can't sit still. <laughs> Rip. Oh. Oh. Tough game, man. It's a tough game. It is. Quarter after twelve. Yeah, we're okay. Yeah. Got him. You got him? Oh fuck yeah, man! <laughs> but so it's just it's a crazy I day. I did die. I was checking to make sure. Somebody said in the forums, a tactic is to do this, is to go back and forth, bouncing back and forth. Yeah, that was kind of like, I was trying that out. I think that is like a really good tactic, but... Because then he's continuously trying to lock onto you, and that's the furthest turning distance for him. Like, because you can bounce off the rings. And it, and it sends you exactly horizontal from the ring you bounced off of. It does turn your ship a bit, so it's not a perfect press forward all the time. But at least you have a chance. Yeah. So now he's got an opening. Yeah, he can shoot right through all of the rings. It's not like us, we're... Damn. Ah! the least amount of rings. Damn, it's ruthless, man. <laughs> One extra ship per castle. With less segments removed, the points are lower, thus the dis difficulty increases slower. Yes. That is true. The less rings you shoot, the easier the second castle will be. Oh, that but makes sense. But it's not that much easier. It's still hard as hell on the second one, because... Is there, like, um, thresholds that you need to pass for when the mines get harder? It's like, is it at 2,000 or 3,000, or is it just a, a gradual ramp up of, like, it's calculated directly based on your score? Running directly away from it, like a cartoon character. Oh, my God. <laughs> Brutal. But, that being said, the game looked gorgeous. 
It is unbelievably amazing. Yes! Ah! Yes! Okay, Killed we him got without it. dying. Like, that's a crazy accomplishment. That's, that's yeah, like silly. It's, it's like, it's insane. You killed him without dying. All right, you made it to the next level. Now, you, now I can see why they give like a shit every level. You have it's to. It's so brutal of a game that you have to do that. It's merciless. <laughs> it is so unbelievably merciless. Let me read out the credits. I don't think I did. Game programming, Chris Walton and Thomas Yench. Oh, God. Uh, game artwork and arcade model, Nathan Strum. Uh, sound effects, Ivan Machado and Thomas Yench. Yes! Oh, wow. Holy crap. Uh, title music, Richard Kulder Armijo. Cart label, box and manual, Jordi uh, Cabo. Cart hardware, Fred Quimby. Cart production, Albert Iruso. Star Castle Arcade would not have been possible without the help and support of the great folks on Atari Age. Um, Star Castle Arcade may not be repro reproduced or distributed without permission. And I'm actually... Oh, it's totally fuzzy now, because I, I was oh. wrestling with a cat. Oh, four ships. Oh, fuck. No, run, run! You're doing so awesome. But um, the but mines are getting pretty tough, man. Yeah, they're getting speedy. I'm wearing my Atari Age shirt today. Yeah, look at these mines, man. Fuck me. You can see the back, which is not awesome. Uh, saying, but the shirt. Come back. Good games only need one button. You can see it. Probably not. It's too tiny. Oh, god damn. Anyway, good games only need one button. And every game on the Atari only needs one button. Some take advantage of two buttons on the Genesis controller, which is just for your convenience. Usually it's oh, like a remapped second button. You're almost... Oh, oh you did it! The you fourth did one, it! man. 8600. Motherfuckers. Oh, that puts you way up. Oh, don't say that. You're way up. <laughs> I'm scared. Fifth. Fifth place. Nice. Difficulty equals score divided by 2,000. Uh, okay. So it is a... It is oh my exact. God. I still have two ships. Ah, it means nothing in this oh. game, man. Oh, God. God damn it, man. <laughs> All those mines. Come on. Oh, wow. They're moving Fast yeah, dude, the now. mines are almost the hardest part at this point, man. Yeah. I'm not even gonna lie. Fuck! Oh, 9190. Oh, so close. The next one up is in the 10 and 11,000 range. Yeah. What's the top? It's like 15, 22. 22 yeah. 9190. I'm gonna take that in. Oh, good. That's at least something. It's something. Cool. It's not a total embarrassment to <laughs> wash out here now. No. For me, it is. You found your game. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No. <laughs> Up to 20,000, and then it stays constant. Oh, the difficulty? Yeah. So, lid likes in television. Uh, is like at uh, the highest difficulty level. So. There's a level of luck though, man, in all honesty. Like, I kind of, I guess I was playing it like smart, but there's uh, also a level of like when that guy opens, I just fly around and then shoot from the other side and just kind of like. Just hammer him. And then I just got lucky like four times. <laughs> <laughs> but I. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get out of here. Kind of watch the mines where they are. Yeah, so. and then the mines become a huge part, it seems. Oh, I almost Yeah, you got were so him. close if you had... Oh my god, get out of here. Yes, oh. there you go. I think that's one of my first Yeah, and you kept kills. moving, right? That's the best part. It's really yeah. hard, though. It's, it's random in some ways, that, like that. But that counts. It's kind of like... And see, if it were me, I would just be farther away if I were standing still. Like, if you're right on the edge of the screen, you right. can still get those things. 
but like um, at least you have a little bit more time to, okay. to run away. I've got an opening, now I just have to not die. Yeah, basically. It's you so close, man, you almost got it. Yeah, <gasps> see, there you go. Wow. Yeah, man. Forgot your name, you're a bit more patient than James. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, kill! Kill! You will kill! Yeah, my name's Erlen. It's not on the small one. No, no, that's not. not the screen. Oh, okay. It's on the right. Because it's too small. Oh, that makes <laughs> sense. I may be able to put it on the small screen, like just right underneath that. Oh, those, those are making noises. Oh, they're brutal. They're so fast. This is like level three, right? Opening and boot it. Run. You're at 7,000 though, man. You're on the board oh, now. Oh, wow. But you just oh, kept getting... Almost got him. Oh, 75.50. A-E-R-L-A-N. Let me switch. Wait, there we go. That's his name. A-E-R-L-A-N. 75.50. That's what I got, right? Am I? That's like a, a score that it's not totally embarrassing. Oh, I beat someone! Yeah, man, you're on the board now. Oh, by 10 points! <laughs> Yay, I'm on the board, and I'm not last. Well, that gives me hope. That, I, I, that game was fairly well played, like strategically. Still not wet, like, not well played. It was decently played. Oh, see, oh. I did it. That's, that's what I was doing. Oh, see, I had to. No like... stopping. There you go. A E R L A N. Yeah. Oh, see. Deanoid Games. Got it right. Oh, shit, man. <laughs> oh! That's not even. That was bad news, yeah. man. To die that many times. Yeah, the first level. That was too much. Yeah, oh. sorry, it's a really weird name. My mom made it up, <laughs> and, like, I've had it forever. Had it since you were born. <laughs> yeah, since I was born. I, like, when I order at Starbucks, my middle name's David, so I just order everything, like, any reservations and stuff by David, especially if, because no one gives a shit. Like, no one no. wants to actually, especially when you hand, like, you're ordering, like, a coffee or something, and they yeah. give it to, like, somebody else, and they're like, <gasps> Ard And it's like... Arbledin? And no one cares. They just want to, like, they just... They're working their minimum wage job, so yeah. I try to like keep it simple. So Make it easy for them. So sometimes I just go by David. That's a pretty common name. That's on the yeah. other extreme end. Yeah, it's like everyone knows how to spell it. That's the advantage of it. Um, it is Gaelic. That's right. Ah. Um, if 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 we were to like look at its origins, um, it means forest gale in Gaelic, and a gale is just like a parting in the forest. Oh, not a wind. Not no. like a, a strong wind. But it's just a hard game because as soon as you think you've got figured it out, you don't. <laughs> no, it's, exactly. it's a real head scratcher. No! Damn it! I, I haven't that played last a, one. I haven't played a game which requires as much kind of skill as this in a long time. No, neither have I. I mean, um, uh, that one with the uh, uh, the cats was pretty tough. Oh, um, the gingerbread man. No, the one with the cats in the doors. Nice. Um, oh, with the oh, doors. Mappy? Yeah, Mappy. Mappy's yeah, one that's, that... Yeah, that's another challenging one. There's a lot of skill to play that one. And then also the one with the Anteater. That's another one that was like... <sighs> yeah, that one's a tough one, too. But I think this is a different level of skill, man. This one's hard. This one's a lot. Whoa, that was close. Is Tanya gonna play this? Uh, who is it? It's, it's on a Friday... I'm not sure whether it's a Darcy Friday or a Tanya Friday. Tanya get, will not like this game. Though. Try to get her to do Actually, it. I don't know if Darcy will like this game. <laughs> Maybe she'll be good at it. I don't. I don't know. 
certain different people are good at different games. She's really good at puzzle games. Yeah, this I mean, no doubt. A lot of puzzle game. This is a, I don't know, super strategic, like precision. I have no idea what kind of category this game is in, but it's thrust. Oh, thrust, I did it. Thrust said that like um, you're a bit more patient than James. I guess. I guess that's the only advantage I have with this. I'm very patient. Like I really. I'm, yeah. With this kind of stuff, but I think you're about as I think we're about we've about evened out now, and my patience doesn't help sometimes. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's just like, oh, if you die like three times, it's like, oh, rip. Yeah, I'm getting uh, trying to be a bit more patient with this game, but you constantly fire, which I should do, because there's no there's no downside except for rebuilding an outer casing. Yeah. What did I get there? It was like 50. Oh, it wasn't in the 70s, so it doesn't matter. Uh, who selected it for the compo? Um, Lid Likes in Television is the guy who's running this, um, and he has gotten the top score for every single game. So he obviously likes all these games, and he's really, really good at all these games. Yeah, he's like a space shooter kind of guy. Man. Yeah, so he's, he's in first place every time. Um, which. You know, I'm not sure that's a good thing to be oh, part of your own competition and pick games that you're super awesome at and mop the floor with everybody else. Like, mop the floor. Like, double everyone's I mean, what? score. I guess it's like, you know, have a, I guess that's why you have a competition. Right? <laughs> Come on and beat me, everyone. Come good on. Good luck, kids. I'm the king. <laughs> I like on the left-hand side, it's got that comb that... Uh, most Atari games have. Usually people block it out. But it kind of just gives a little shade to the whole game. Because it's got uh, every oh, second shit, line has a comb to it. And it kind of builds into the game. It's interesting. Oh, man. He's on a rampage. Don't stop. Oh, he's protected again. Mm. Oh, Atari programmer Har Howard Scott Warshaw, who made Yard's Revenge, eventually, investigated writing a clone of Star Castle for the Atari 2600, but didn't see the game as a good match for the system, so he didn't actually start making it in this form. Um, <clears throat> he reconfigured the concept into Yard's Revenge, which oh became God. Atari's top-selling original game for the 2600. Oh, that's a toughie, man. Sometimes you... I'm, I'm, I almost feel like I, I might have just peaked, you know what I mean? Like, uh, it's going yeah, it's, it's to be hard to, to do much better than that, man. Really well on that one time. Ooh. Ooh. Ah. I'm trying to get it down to one, and then one as well. Without shooting the inner ring yet. Like just shooting the both. Ah. No. Maybe I'm just thinking too strategically about it. Oh, it's tough. Oh, now it's gotten down. Oh, good oh, work. Now. Adequate. Because <laughs> I died. Yeah, Thrust just said learning to fly and steer. That's the hardest part. I am only slightly better. It makes us feel a bit better, man. Thank you. You're right. You're absolutely right. Yeah. I find it so funny uh, when people who are the programmers of the game are, like, adequate at it. Not masters, not even great, but adequate at the game they made. It makes sense though, right? Like the dude who invented the guitar is, is not the best guitar player, <laughs> yeah. but it's but the it's like a different thing, you know. It is. It's also like I'm I like write a lot of stuff. Um, I work with actors a lot, and it's like you need actors because, yeah. you know, the, the 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 skill of of like figuring out the story and stuff, and like figuring out all the shots and. Like, that is totally different than being able to, like, live it and actually do it. Because I can, yeah. like, write a character and come up with stuff, but to be able to actually, like, do it, it's very different. And it's sort of limiting, too, so it's like... But I guess a game is a different beast, though. 
where it's like yeah but but that's you but, may love the game but you may not be good at it yeah you, like this i love this game i love playing it but i'm cr crap at it yeah and like people who are fascinated in like creation like the act of creation does not necessarily mean um you're gonna be able to like yeah like um take um the movie reviewer roger Ebert. he is like one of the is probably the most famous movie reviewer ever. Yeah, but he's movie. He's, was... he's a terrible movie maker. <laughs> he's had a terrible review for his films. Yeah. For his film that he wrote. Um, so it doesn't translate. You may know how to program games really well, but you may not be good at games or an, like an expert at games, but you could be the best program in the world at it. Yeah, I remember listening to, like, um, the programmer of, uh, like, because my favorite game is Diablo 2. I love that game. Mm -hmm. And I listened to the programmers talk about it, and it was amazing. They just talked about development and working with the team and all this stuff. And They're it was not playing it. so, and I was like, and they were like, and it was funny because the guys who were interviewing them were, like, hardcore gamers who've been playing this game for 15 years, and they're like, but it was interesting for them. They'd, like, been immersed in this world. And yeah. these guys were, he was just reflecting on, oh, yeah. And he's like, I moved on to different projects. I was, <laughs> I was on to different things. So it's really like fascinating to hear him talk because it was this like realization of oh yeah to you this was like a job and a project that you right. that you worked on and he kept talking about yeah you know we really pushed like the you know uh he's like most games that are really good it's like it comes down to putting in like these 12 hour days and like not taking lunches he's like oh there's like a toll on like our family like he's oh, yeah. he's talking about all this stuff and i'm like that makes familiar. complete sense and he's like you have such a tiny window to, to develop a game too you do that he's like well, the only reason why this game was so good is he's like we just literally like all of us had nothing going on we lost our lives to this and he's like I don't think I'll ever make a game like this again because it was just too much work. That's a big difference between films and games development is that games have a window mm -hmm. of opportunity that to make it in because you have to use an, a game engine and certain technology or you get surpassed by other games that are doing, say, the same oh, yeah. same thing. And, and then, okay, you're almost done your game or you're a year away from it and now, you know, the new build of your game engine comes out and you're like, oh, I have to pretty much start over or close to start over unless it's like a um, compatible um, engine, like a really good uh, Oh my oh. oh, shit. And it's also like at least for the RPG world, there's around a time where, where they were sort of like, for big developers, they were allowed to do ruthless things like have enemies be immune to like five different, uh, you know, types of damage. So you could like physically couldn't beat the game with every character. <laughs> like it was cool. Uh, Nowadays, you just don't see that. It's all no. like, it's all gear oriented and it's all because they realize like the market, they can sell, people will buy like digital items for crazy DLC. amounts of money. Yeah. And um, and it's so like it, it's a cool like period of gaming. So it's also like that is a huge factor as well. Mm -hmm. But it's still crazy to think that it's just such a different process, like developing and creating a game. Yeah, movies you can take, you know, some usually they take like three to five years from inception to release. Um, games take that long too. They have to be really sensitive to their. To the market they really have to be sensitive to the market as opposed to movies where as long as you're not doing it about it like a certain subject like say the um say the facebook facebook movie yeah like that if they took too long with that like it'd still be relevant they could still release it today but if, a if it was like MySpace and they're trying to release a movie about MySpace right now, you'd be sort of be silly. Like, be like, ooh, that was close. <laughs> it would be silly. Be like, who cares about MySpace? <laughs> like a thrust. <laughs> it's gone. Like what Thrust said. That's amazing. This uh, this game is pretty exhausting. Don't play it too long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the guy who made it. Yeah, it's like, uh, yeah, you can't. You're right play though, it too man. Long. I'm starting to get like pretty Fatigued. stressed out, man. It's a tough. It is because it's. It's a it's single a screen game. Nothing changes. It's over and over the same oh. thing. So I think this this two hour window we have is like I think 
my next game will be my last, I think. I don't know if you want to call this one your last or oh, God. the next one. But um, no, you're right. Got him in a good position. I got him on the ropes. Nope. Uh, nope. Yeah, this will be it for me. That'll be it for you. Okay, this will be my last one. Because I our also skill, think our, our scores have peaked. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, for me for sure. There's no way that I'll. Uh... <laughs> oh, a whole 120 points there. <laughs> I would love to, to develop a game, though, at some point in my life. That would be a real dream come true, but I just don't think I would honestly... It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, and I also uh, think when it comes to, like, uh, programming and stuff, I would either. And I wouldn't have the, the stuff. I'd love to write and create and kind of come up with something that would be really fun, but oh, I think I think I'd only ever have one in me, you know? Like, it's not the yeah. kind of thing I think I'd want to have a, a career of, but... Oh, right. You like know. a full game, not a retro. No, like a fun, full, like, like a full original kind of like. I would want to do an RPG. That would be my dream. Do you know of any filmmakers that have crossed over to that? Um, there's a guy named um, uh, the guy who did Sunshine as well as um, uh, Deus Ex. Uh, sorry, Ex Ex Machina, and he also did. Um, he wrote like The Beach. Um, I'm, yeah, I'm okay. trying to think of his name. He's done it. Really? Um, he's the only Went guy. From film though. to movie. Uh, yeah, to video games. he did. He was he was the writer of a of a game. Wow. And I know actually, Just, yeah. I know a, a guy who went to film school with. He was the director of one of the Resident Evil games. I got to meet him. Oh wow. Um, and he was like, he was talking to me about it too, and he was saying it's hilarious because, oh, and he also did a bunch of stuff on the. He directed a bunch of stuff for the Warcraft. No, no, the um uh, oh, what's it called um. Warhammer 3000, I think. I can't remember the name. I'm sorry, but he, but it's like there's all these crazy orcs and stuff in it. And he said he was like, "Damn it, get run, run." He said, "Wide open too." Oh, now we closed up. Sorry. Oh, he said like directing a game is like surreal because you have these like he said he they sh they worked in England is mm. where they did all their work and he said that they'd have all these like classically trained Shakespearean <laughs> actors. <laughs> it would be playing like an orc and then <laughs> just like the dialogue would so just be weird. like would be like we must go to battle and crush our enemies <laughs> so he'd like there'd be this like guy who's played like king lear coming in and doing that <laughs> and he'd just be like walk up to the guy and go so can we just have like a little more like i want to feel the the bodies underneath and the guy and he said they're pros they'd be like oh yeah sure and then go back and like <laughs> infuse that yeah, it's okay all right, well, uh, uh, <laughs> and she said it's like a surreal experience directing a game because you're the guy who has to mostly, you're mostly just directing voice acting. So he's directing it and he wrote it too. He wrote it as well and, and he, and he did, um, uh, uh, and I, I met him in school and we, we, he was like, he was older and he was a hippie and he, he, he was in my writing class and he yeah. wrote a lot. Um, and his writing was kind of interesting, um, but it was. But I know that he said that once you get into the video game world, dude. Okay. <gasps> Whoa! Get the fuck out of here, man. Okay, keep going. I'm gonna. Wow. I might shut up. And I may not be. No, keep talking. It's obviously working. Um, <laughs> but uh, but uh, he he said to me that he found it really hard to once you're in the video game world, you're kind of always in it. Oh, dude. Oh, really? He's, he's like it's very hard and people don't really see you as uh, as legit either oh but video games make as much money if not more some of them than oh, hell movies yeah. they're on par actually as a total they make more than movies now yeah and he said he wanted to do TV and he said it was really hard to do TV oh that's a whole different because she's like I want to go from games he's like and he's like also he said the development process for a game is like three years or something it's really hard and there's to... a lot of writing to do yeah for like an rpg game hell yeah and he... so much and he said dude the hardest part is like once you set that ship to sail so much work goes into getting like something to the end so after like uh, he said once you're two years into a game it's really hard to to adjust the decisions you made like on the first year so you're really oh. stuck with like everything and he said and he said if it's not working you can't you can't, can't scrap it. Yeah, you have to keep going. That's it's the too much money invest, invested. And, like, you can't just, like, refilm things. There's a process with games that you can't go back on. Yeah. Oh, Thrust, that's just because there's, like, a delay. Um, uh, oh. So we, there's, like, a huge delay. <laughs> that's funny. <laughs> yeah, but James has jumped. He's immediately, like, <laughs> Yeah. So what did, how did, so I was 9190 oh, and you were 9740. Fuck yeah, man. Do that. <laughs> Boom! Yeah. 
Um, that's good work. I'm and that makes me feel good because you always beat me in the games. It's like it's it's been is <laughs> the world. For that. No, no, because you're more t you you play, you play these games way more than me. Not this one. This one. Yeah. This because it's one. so hard, it just turns me off. It turns me off right away. So this is a good environment to play it in, where you're aiming for something. Yeah. Um, this is a tough game, and, and, and even thrust is like. So I think. I'm in a good position now to play it again at the end of the month. My brain will sort that out. And yeah, you'll have figure to figure out the tactics. It. But that is not a not non embarrassing score. We're both on the board. Yes. In like fourth and fifth place. Let me just go check yeah, that once more. Yeah, and and you know I think that uh we'll see how how it goes, right? But um. No, fifth and sixth. That's fine. Right now. And it's uh, generally we'll be in the top ten maybe. We'll see. I. Th yeah, I think we'll, we'll stick with those scores. Because I was ninth hey, last. Hey, hey, hey. I was ninth on the ninth. last round, so yeah. that sounds about right. I'll probably stay around ninth. Depends how many people play this game, because it may not be as popular. as popular because of its difficulty level to be like yeah. turned off right away, especially seeing scores. I really don't think I could do better than that. I think that was... <laughs> I think well, you could. I, I'd have to play some serious... I'd have to do some serious like work and then get a bit of luck again. I'm so happy you got one. Oh, I'm so happy it's to... It's funny, I was mid-monologue, too. I didn't even really... I was just telling this story <laughs> about this guy. And... I think it would be fun but grueling to write for a video game. Oh, yeah. Going back to that topic. Um, because RPGs have so many branches, and these games are hundreds of hours long. Yeah. Forget an hour and a half. Hundreds of That's hours. unreal. And even then... I mean, if you're doing the directing of it... Um, you're getting these people to say it in five different ways, too. Oh, yeah. Every line. And you're getting branches and stuff. It's just, it's like an exponential equation at a certain point. <laughs> it just goes, goes off. You can see why there's, like, memes about, like, uh, a, like terrible, like, characters from, like, those Elder Scroll games and stuff. Because it's like, yeah. the amount of bloody writing you have to do is unreal. And I'm sure at some point they go, good enough, good enough. Yeah. And, yeah, the, the writing just... Decreases. Um, I'm sure in the main quest, that's what they concentrate on, and that's the main focus at the beginning of that's the right. RPGs, and then Everything they get into the so little one-offs that people say as you pass by them. Yeah. <laughs> they don't care about that. I probably half of those aren't even directed. It's like, oh, say it five times, we'll move on. Say it five oh, times. Yeah. And then, you know, the dialogue editor will pick it up, or whoever. Totally, and like the guy I know, he was saying that like you have an insane day, like when you do voiceover because they book a voiceover studio, and that's where they hire people like the people I was describing, like these these English actors, because he they were doing it in London, and he's like they'll get like one guy will do like ten voices, yes, and, and they'll do like the ten different bits, and then he'll kind of like do shades of it too, and especially the English are great because they have English accents, they can do standard American accents, they can do different regions of English Orc accents. accents. They yeah, they can do like or crazy stuff, so. And and that's also a problem that there's one person doing multiple voices oh, yeah. because they'll butt up two statements against each other that are recorded maybe a month apart, and it sounds so different. The yeah, voice. no. It's like, is that the same? What the hell is going on? You same. can you can see why like now there's a trend in RPGs to go back to text. Just because, I mean, it's harder for the gamer to, to read through text, but it actually makes for a more immersive experience because you don't have, um, you don't have this like uh, like Pillars of Eternity is a game I really love. Are they really going back oh, yeah. to that? It makes it more international too. More international because, because you don't have to re-record all the voices. You just and they don't have to get people to do anything. And then also, you as the reader, you can like read and imagine the voice of the character. But it's a very limited market. And they, like those guys, Obsidian do them, and um, and they're like uh, sixty bucks a game, or seventy bucks a game. Yeah, I mean, and I they were crowdsourced. Totally understand. Oh, were they? Uh, That's the only why way. They cost that much. Here you go, Thrust. Here's the um, here's the link um, for the score list, and I'll be posting that tomorrow yeah. after I post on YouTube so people can watch it properly. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry again about this, yeah, man. this mess. It's still jumping around. I think it's a bit better, but it's still getting red and yellow, but it's more green. I'm sure it'll be it's fine by Friday. Um, 
but thanks for hanging in there. And, um, we'll be back on Friday. I don't know what with. Um, yeah, I don't have anything planned, so I'll probably dig into some new games. Actually, some new cartridge games that I have. Um, because I don't have a lot of work in progress ones, and there's a guy that just sent me a new work in progress game that has not been shown anywhere, Ooh. not released anywhere. An exclusive. It is an exclusive. Zero page. <laughs> Zero page exclusive. <laughs> and and it's a genre that is rarely seen. How can you on twenty six hundred? Can you tell us the genre? Are we gonna save that for the? Okay, there you go. He good, swore good, good. me to secrecy. Good stuff. Which is understandable. Like you're doing exclusives, oh, you, you don't want to yeah. release any any info. So I actually have two exclusives coming up at some point. Lovely. Um, so that'll be fun. And also one on cartridge that's coming as well. So I'll probably be the first to stream that game too when I get that. And that's the hacks episode. I've got that already. Cool. So it's the day I get it, anything's getting bumped. Unless it's like this on the 31st. I oh, can't yeah. bump that. Um, but he had a bit of delay. It's, uh, what is it? Bounce. It's called Bounce. You can jump around like Hubert on things, changing colors and stuff. Um, so whenever that comes in, but it hasn't been shipped yet. He had a delay in something. I can't remember. But uh, that will be fun. Um, yeah, so there's some upcoming, upcoming episodes. See if I have any other things planned. Not really. It's play by ear this month. And there's some days that I won't be here because I'm doing a film with this dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm directing a new film, so I yeah. have lots of. Uh, this month's crazy for me. But it's, I. It's um, just a short film, so yeah, it's, it's only a couple film. days of filming, which lands on a, f a Friday. Yeah. Um, so that's just we, one day. Which is be here. good for everyone, but when you're directing, you, I'm also like you rehearse and you're meeting oh, with yeah. everybody, and so I have a lot of work. My whole month is crazy, but for people who just come on board, they and James is editing, which yeah. is going to be fun. Because, yes, you usually do the editing on your films. Yeah. So this will give you some. Oh, it'll get done in a bit of relief, faster. <laughs> faster, a different perspective Hell on things yeah. too, because I'll have. My stamp on it and be like, oh, I didn't think of that. That's always fun. Oh, yeah. And also just to have someone, because you're burnt out by the time you're done oh, shooting, right? So yeah. you're, you, you'll be fresh. You'll be down to just jump in and do it. Yeah, that'll be fun. Um, so thanks for hanging out with us. Yeah, thanks everyone. so much. Um, we'll be back on Friday. And do I have something? I'm going to check because I bumped this time a little bit, um, unfortunately, because I had something to do tonight. And then I have, to, I got to pick up my mom at the airport. Yeah, so we kind of made it work for both of our yeah, schedules. Yeah, it's just a shuffle around. So right now, Friday is clear, so it's going to be 7 p.m. Um, Pacific time, uh, 10 p.m. Eastern time on Friday. That's totally normal. Uh, next week is going to be earlier on the Wednesday. Um, I don't know if you have a, a lot of work next Wednesday to do. I should be good. I should be able to do a show. Like, we can pay, make it any time because I know we have that thing for the film. That yeah, meeting. no, but I'll be fine other than that. Awesome. So. Awesome. Maybe we can schedule it just before and then go in together. Yeah, or Unless you have good. to show up early. Tomorrow. I'll have to see. I'll let yeah, you know. No matter what, I'll let me, let me before I commit yeah. to that, let me check. But I'll for sure be able to do a show. So next Wednesday is going to be early too. We don't know what time. And next Friday is tense. The Friday after this ca Friday is canceled. The 24th. Yeah, because we'll be shooting. Yeah, we'll be doing the shooting. Um, but thanks for hanging out. Sorry for the stream issues. And there's a black and white cat. And and thank support. you, Thrust, for making this game, man. This yes. was really fun. Thank you so much, man. Thrust. This was super fun. And thank you for hanging out. Thrust is in Europe, so yeah. early is good for him. This is great. That's awesome. And honestly, like, amazing job with programming and also making things feel like vectors and oh it was God. cool to see a little bit of history on this game and in all honesty I had a lot of fun trying this one out I think this is one of my Challenging. one of my one of my like hardest <laughs> ones that I've done but very oh, satisfying check out the, uh, the, um, the intro screen there that is a huge sprite and it's beautiful that star castle but I, yeah this is probably the most challenging game yeah. I've played 
game you played on this oh, show. Oh, hell yeah. And I mean, especially trying to go for score, man. I don't know how these people got 22,000. <laughs> I got no... I, I want to see if... Uh, I want Yeah, I want to see that video. Their tactics. Like, how do they do they Do it slow? Are they doing a really tactically, like, shooting Precision. pieces out? I think Thrust is right, though, where if you can nail... If you can learn how to fly and steer, your game's going to be through the roof. Because then you can dodge things, yes. right? It's really hard because it's not. That's the hardest. I'm, I think we're so used to modern games to having so much mobility that to sort of to ha not have that mobility is is you almost have to relearn. It's like learning how to ride a bicycle all over again. Yeah, it's a different style of control. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Yeah. So thanks for hanging out on Zero Page Homebrew, and we will see you on Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific, 10 p.m. Eastern. Bye-bye. Oh, actually, thanks. I'm going to thank the people that were hanging out here. Because um, that's always fun. Thrust 26 and Paler 76. Lots of uh, numbers going Dinoid. on. Dinoid. Dinoid Games. Uh, Tiki Dank, which I didn't even say their name out when they said that. but uh, Yeah, man. Thanks for coming by. Ground Trooper. Ground Trooper, yeah. Uh, and that is everybody who chatted. And thanks for the thanks to the lurkers who didn't yeah, type man, anything. Thank you so much. Uh, bye, Ground Trooper, and we'll see you next time. And yeah, see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>